Hey guys, Tracon here on my Prop Paladin. I just posted a few new macros for the latest update and they all work. So I thought I'd show them off in a video for you. I have a link down below if you want to copy and paste all the macros. Or if you have the impulse add on, you can come up here, click impulse, and I'll just sift through all their macros and it'll go straight to your macro tab. Or choose your modifier and their macros will go straight to your hotbar. I also have a link down below to all my other add ons, my bartender, etc. Everyone always asks, so yeah, all my add-ons and all the macros you see in the video, uh, I provide links with uh, below for all of them for you guys. So the first macro I tested today was a mouse over for my hand of reckoning, which looks like this: slash cast bracket target equals mouse over harm exists no dead hand of reckoning. And if you want to switch it out for like a hammer of justice or uh, really any spell you want to try out, you can just switch it here and here and leave that semi colon in between. I'll show you how this works. So if you just have a single target with nobody else moused over, you can just put it on your single target like that. Or let's say you, you're on your current target and you want to taunt somebody else, you can just simply mouse over them and taunt them like that. And like I said, this is really good for any spell you want to use on your mouse over. And yeah, you can just switch it out in those two places and leave that semicolon. Next step is a focus macro for my Avenger shield, which looks like this. Slash cast bracket target equals focus exists no dead Avenger shield. Just like the last one, switch it here and here. Leave that semicolon. And how this works is let's say you have a single target with no focus target at all. It'll always go off on your single target, just like that. Uh, and the other way you can use it is, let's say this dummy's on my focus, and this focus on this UI is right here. As you can see me switching it, that's my focus right there. So if now that I do have a focus, which is this dummy, it's always going to go on my focus rather than my single target, just like that. Uh, so as you can see, like you can just quickly take it off your focus, use whatever spells you want on your current. And if you do have a focus, you can use whatever spells you want on your uh, focus target, just like that. Good for your CCs, interrupts, and once again, depending on you use it, how you want to use it, it's good for any spell. And also, I almost forgot, if you want to get your um, uh, macro on and off, or not your macro, your focus on and off quicker, you can use this macro right here. And yeah, you can just copy and paste that from the web page. So how this works is if you have a Let's say you have no one on your focus and you want to put someone on. You can just simply mouse over them, click it, and I'll put them on your focus. Or let's say I want to switch from this grunt to this dummy. Click it once and I'll take them off. You can, you don't have, it doesn't matter where your cursor is. Just click it, takes them off, and then mouse over whoever you want and I'll put them on. So when you're switching, you just have to double click because it'll take them on and put the other person on like that. Uh, and yeah, if you have a single target, uh, nothing changes. You can just simply mouse however you want and put them on your focus like that. And you can do a few other things. I recommend just playing around with it and see if you like it. Next up is a stop casting macro for my Light of the Protector, which looks like this. Slash stop casting, slash cast the Light of the Protector. And sometimes depending on the update or the spell or even your latency, you might have to put a couple extra lines in there. Of stop casting but for this update and for most people you should be fine with just one stop casting and of course if you want to switch it out just switch out the spell name here for like divine shield or one of your blessings or something like that so um, if you never used a stop casting before I'll explain uh, why most people use it so or some people use it not most I don't think but it's really helpful so uh, let's say you're like capping a flag, or in this case, I, I don't have access to a flag <laughs> to cap, but I'm going to use my flash of light for example. And you're in the middle of the cast and you want to do something else like um, a lie of the protector or something like that to give yourself a quick heal. Uh, what most people do is they'll jump or they'll start moving to get it off because obviously it's not going to stop it until it's done like that. Uh, I should have told you this is my regular apply the protector. This is the macro. So obviously it's not going to stop it. So people will move, use it, and then go back and do whatever they were doing before. 
Uh, but if you put stop casting in front of it, it's going to automatically stop the casting and do uh, light of the projector. So normal one doesn't do anything, obviously. And then the macro, just spam it like that. And yeah, it'll go off real quick for you. So you can set this up for um, a lot of your emergency spells you want to use instead of to stop your current cast, just to use them. And of course, on your, if you're on your Holy Pally or any other caster, it's going to be like a godsend putting stop casting in front of some of your spells. And yeah, I would just recommend trying it out and see how it works for you. And the last micro I tested today was a modifier for my Hammer of the Righteous and my Concentration, which looks like this. Slash cast bracket modifier alt. Concentration. A consecration. I always say that. And semicolon Hammer of the Righteous. And if you've never used a modifier before, you can switch out the alt right here for something like shift or control. And what you put before the semicolon is what you're modifying. So here's the macro on my keybind right here. As you can see, if I just hit it normally, it's going to be my Hammer of the Righteous, like that. And But if I hold down Alt and hit uh, my cons Consecration, it's going to be my Consecration, just like that. So you can see you can quickly just uh, move between spells by just holding down Alt, hit the spell. You just have to hold down Alt real quick. So hold down Alt quickly, hit it, and then you're good to go. Like that. Uh, so yeah, these modifier macros are good for a couple of reasons. First, you can set up, um, you know, more spells per key mine. So let's say you're really good with the A and the S key, and you want to, you know, come more efficient with those keys. Well, you can just set up modifier macros for those keys and keys around those keys. So you become a lot more efficient with those keys instead of trying to get good with keys you're not good with, like on the top side, like the number keys, or on the right side of your keyboard. So yeah, by doing using all those modifiers, you become a lot more efficient with uh, your keybinds by using them. All right, guys. Well, that's the last macro I made today on my, at least tested today on my Prop Paladin. If you want to see more Prop Paladin macros, just drop a like on the video, and I'll know you enjoyed it, and I'll make more for you guys. Have a good one.